Hey everyone and welcome back to my franchise mode. In today's episode we are going to build a capuchin monkey habitat and uh, before we do so I wanted to give you guys a huge thank you. Um, oh god, uh, this is starting off very bad here. Um, a huge thank you to all of you who have been subscribing in the past couple of days. Um, now it's been really great to see how many people did sub in the last couple of days and honestly um, I think it was really the fact that I did explain a little bit better why this is really helpful to me and so in case you guys are constantly watching my videos but you haven't subscribed yet I again uh, ask you guys uh, friendly uh, if you might be considering to subscribe to this channel because actually this helps a lot um, with everything like with the views and um, with how much time and money I can put back into it so I really did appreciate and do appreciate that quite uh, a lot because um, yeah it has been just phenomenal it really made me smile the whole day and you know if you if you look at my channel the, the last couple of days were really cool and I really want to carry that forward so in case uh, you feel well here you feel comfortable um, make sure to hit that wonderful red button um, and yeah uh, also for those of you who are wondering and we are going to build something really cool today but for those of you who are wondering um, I finally got my new emotes. I uh, got someone to do them and uh, they are just incredible. I love them. So in case you want to use them, you can become a member on this channel or you can become a uh, sub on that other channel. I'm not allowed to mention or you just jump into my discord because there are all these emotes to be used as well. Now that out of the way, um, I'm just <laughs> also trying to get some time away until it's get getting a little bit brighter. I hate that in the morning here until the light comes in. Um, let me just quickly tell you a few things um, while we wait until the Sun comes in there's one more thing we have to make sure so you guys were commenting that um, decreasing the temperature for the people overall is helping with the thirst because I honestly I tried a lot off screen and I couldn't manage to make them less thirsty than they already are I mean we are making in ridiculous amount of money but overall it's just incredible and I think because all these people are pretty hot they have more thirst and uh, yeah we are trying to make this a little bit better now um, by just reducing the temperature in the middle of the pathways by just putting down the coolers I guess that's what we can do so we're gonna take a cooler here and uh, we are putting down the cooler right here just first of all and then we will um, try to decrease the range a little bit um, I'm not even sure like okay I cannot really tell the range uh, before I see it, but um, we put the uh, temperature to like Yeah, I think the trend 20 33 ish degrees should be fine You know also to, to make sure that we don't need that much energy. I guess maybe we can make it a little bit colder Let's let's put it to 20 ish degrees. Or is that too cold already? No, we just put that to 21 21 is kind of a cool uh, area and then we just increase the range again we we'll make sure that the animals are not too cold. Though. There we go. And now what we do, we just place this along the path. And I really do hope that this helps. Um, honestly, if you guys would love to help me again, uh, you can send me some blueprints of a better looking cooler system. So I could uh, exchange them. Because that looks pretty ugly, doesn't it? Like having this thing all down to the road. Um, I don't know. So if, if you want to help with this, make sure to send me in some blueprints with that. That would be... That would be lovely. Um, I think the animals, you know, they don't have too much of an issue with it if we just put it down. But it's kind of pretty red already over here, so maybe that does help. We will see. We will see. I'm just going to put this down. Funny story also, I don't have any idea now how the overall uh, lighting is going to do right now. I'm not sure to be honest. Like, I'm, I'm not really sure. Um, let me just put this, especially in this area here. I have also no idea if I put them to the ground or if this is all correct location wise. Not that we do have them floating everywhere. Look at an animal escape. What's going on there? What's going on? Let's just put this quickly down. I just paused the game for a second. Um, hoping that this will help. I have no idea if these things are now floating or not guys. I have absolutely freaking no idea where I put them. <laughs> so it, maybe we will have some floaty assets later on. Who knows? Okay, I think we might be done. Is this too cold? Like, do I have to change them all manually now again? Please, please just. I thought like the temperature was 
Oh my, please, 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 please. No, no, no. Holy shit. <laughs> oh no. I gotta do this. I gotta do this with every single one I place down. Are you just... Oh my god. Okay, um... <laughs> I'm gonna do this off screen. I'm just gonna quickly check the escape and then I'm gonna make a little break. You don't need to see that. Oh my god. So this animal has escaped. This is surely how and why and where and what. Okay, whatever. So that is good. Um, yeah, let me just quickly do the break because that is simply not what you need to see. Oh my god. Okay, I'll be back with you in a second. Alright, we are back guys and oh my god. I'm so sorry. Actually, I kept building because I just I don't know why I thought I was recording But in a, in a way I was also speaking and I, I wasn't doing both and yeah I, I completely did the entire episode nearly and um, well <laughs> Oh god, I feel so bad right now. I just completely like I, I did all the all the stuff here Obviously as you can see um, oh wait you can't um, temperature there you go I uh, changed all of this and well, it actually helps. I'm I'm just like it's not perfect right now, but you can see that all of the values got a lot up. So, um that's kind of cool though. And I also got some stuff from you guys. The cool thing though is I, you know, I was just at the point where I wanted to bring in the blueprints that you guys provide me with, and uh, there are no animals in yet. We will do a little bit of stuff, you know. I uh, don't have the animals in, but as you can see, this is going to be the uh capuchin monkey cage. Oh my god, what is What is going on? It's not <laughs> What is that? I I really don't know what that is, to be honest. Yeah, it's back in. Yeah, yeah, I go here. I th for whatever reason, it's, it seems it can go over the water. Um, let me just quickly check. I'm, I'm gonna check the uh, traversable area real quick. I think it's, it's that problem over here. Like, it's because they can get on top of that via this thing. Um, how do we how do we get this done that they cannot get here? Do they jump from there or do they go from? I'm I'm not like entirely sure from where they come. Um, maybe from a land down under, but uh, I think we can just uh, keep. Um, okay, I I've got an idea how to fix that. Let me just quickly do this. I'm not sure if that works. And what are fucking protesters? Honestly, I have no idea what they are and why they are doing this. And honestly, this is starting to really annoy the hell out of me. Um, I'm gonna just let's do it that way, like a triple header thing, kind of, I don't know. Um, not sure if that's the thing we need to do. Um, and also, just to make sure that they do not jump over here, I'm just going to make that a little bit higher. Not sure if it's if it's really this, this thing, but uh, potentially that helps. Just making sure, because it, it just appeared a few times that they were kind of uh, escaping via that road. Now, let's have a look. Um, it still seems to work. Where do I get there? And how? Because it's just like, okay, that looks to be over here. I'm not sure if they come from the branch quite here. That's not really what I think they will do. Maybe I'm just going to put some... Okay, so a second attempt would be to use uh, simply some mossy kind of rocks. You know, let's kind of try that first. Uh, again, as I said, I'm, I'm not really sure what exactly the problem is here, but we will see. Just gonna put these down. And then... Yeah, it kind of looks weird, I, I gotta say that, but... Uh, maybe this helps. Okay, so... I don't know if the boxing helped right now that, you know, they might reset what they are doing here. And these are, you know, let's just pretend they're artificial rocks because artificial rocks are lighter and they would realistically be able to be put here. But yeah, n not sure if they do or if this animal is just broken. No, it's not. Okay, so finally that works. Okay, I hope that this causes no more issues with that animal. Um, let's have a look what... I still have no idea why they're doing this, right? Okay, so let's wait until the keeper is in. Great. And then let's delete this thing. See you later, guys. Okay. And connect this back in. I love that the keeper seems not to be affected by that. That's fine. Okay. I have no idea if we still have some of these protesters somewhere. Because I... You, go, you know, I actually I have no idea why there would be any. There's... Really? Fella Moopy. I... Again, I have no idea why they are still here. There is no re as you can see, there is like none protesting habitat lemur. What's what's the issue about them? What's the issue? I've I've no idea. Is there 
One alert. Okay, there are two alerts, but... Look, all elderly, elderly, elderly. What is... I'm... I'm really not sure what the alerts are. Feeders. Is this because we have no feeders? Is that is this actually the problem? I mean... But... Okay, I'm just gonna put down another feeder. Somewhere. When I find this bay. Okay, wait. I'm just gonna go here. And go for a smaller one. Um, food, 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 food. Small platform. There you go. Uh, just gonna put this there. Awesome. I mean, they have the forage thing here. They have... There's so much stuff. I'm, I'm like, it is okay. So there's no, there's no reason why that should be an issue. Okay. So let's check further things. Uh, what is the alert? So infertile, infer. Yeah. Okay. 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 So feeders. I got no idea if that's the, that's the real issue. Like. They are feeding this stuff. It's all fine. Um, let me just quickly check. I mean, surely the lemurs have that one. Yeah. We got a water bowl. We can we can just put down another water bowl if that helps. I have no idea if that helps. And you know what? We can also just employ another keeper if necessary. Can you just? For f okay, whatever. Uh, let's just employ another keeper. Oh god, sorry, I completely chopped off your head. I'm so sorry for that. Never mind. You are going to work in the lemur habitat. There you go. You can also, yeah, cannot just train them now, but anyways. Okay, we're just waiting if that solves the issue. I have no idea. I could also check my inspector uh, report because that would definitely show me uh, some issues if necessary. This is still the same. All right, okay, so look at, look at, oh, look at our wonderful saltwater crocodile. We had some babies, look at that. Hello, you little guy. Oh, look at that. Look at the eye. Oh my god. I love that. Look at... Oh, I just, I'm just like really in awe with the animation of even these small ones. And of the, the detail is really great. Same goes obviously for the big ones. Oh, lovely. Lovely. Okay, cool. Uh, we have also one thing I need to put down. Why is that... F <laughs> okay. Well... Then, there you go. I need to put something down over here because that is the most funny thing someone handed in so far and I love it and I need to put that down. And there you go. And it is, it is, it is, there you go. This is the Hippo Bong Bang Warning Sign. <laughs> oh god, this is just incredible. Just gonna name real quick who that was, but uh, I just love that. We just put this here. There you go, this is the Splash Zone. And the Splash Zone is by... Just gonna jump into my uh, into my Discord channel. This is by OKP Lover. OKP Lover provided this to us, and uh, Steam name is uh, OKP Lover. Right? Okay. So that was easy. The OKP Lover gave us this wonderful splash zone sign. Look, <laughs> I'm a huge fan of that. Uh, what's the? Did I put that tree in here? I don't know. Never mind. There, okay, there was one doing its um, wonderful animation. You can always hear this if they, if they just laugh this way. Um, it always is what they do uh, when they poop. Okay, never mind. We also got some cool new shops uh, we can finally use because you know, as as we know, people are always thirsty. They're still, yeah. Look at that. They're still okay. We can still give them more shops. Um, okay, let's have a look where they are. These are the shop fronts I wanted to use. This is awesome. They are really, really lovely. And I don't want to put it too close to that one. So I'm going to put these here. Just next to the... That was a little lag. I'm so sorry. That was a weird lag spike. I don't know what that was. Okay, so we're going to put this down just here. And this should be hiding. As the explanation says, there you go. There are no shops in, that's good. So, put shops uh, in the modern wall. Yeah, okay, so this is kind of the building we need. Oh, that is smart. This is, I love, I love when people set it up this way. I love it. So, we're going to put down two drink shops again. Um, I think a pip shot water goes here. And then we just go into this building and we put in a... Smoothie. Smoothie bar is also good. Okay, so these two go here. Look at that. Okay, we can we can basically just delete these two. Uh, that one too. Awesome. This is hidden. I love when people... Look at that. It looks so cool. It looks really cool though. I, I'm, I'm a huge fan of that. And it fits perfectly fine. 
Okay, so... Really? You must be kidding me! Okay, so... <laughs> I have no clue why and whatever. Okay, so what we have to do then is we're just gonna put this thing down again. And we're just gonna... Raise it a little bit so it is this, the right height. Yeah, that's that should be the right height and now yeah awesome. Okay, so that, I don't know what it is. Where are the path? There you go. Oh Are you okay now it works? What was that? The game is really playing tricks on me right now Playing playing games with my heart. I should do that But it just came to my came to my mind and I needed to okay cool So what we are doing obviously is before before the madness starts we are just going to put down uh, a lot more, oops, uh, a lot more bins and stuff, you know. Otherwise people are throwing their stuff down to the ground like madmans. Whatever they do, they always keep doing that. And so I'm just going to throw down a lot of these things. I'm wondering though if we could make this area like a picnic area. I think that could be a cool thing to do. Just, um, maybe this, this path thing. Let's see. I'm just gonna make sure that this is really nicely... I'm not sure if I can guarantee that this will stay the big size, but I could do it that way. And then, oh yeah, look at that. This is this is really cool. This is exactly what I wanted to and do. There you go. So we can really make this the picnic bench area. So let's go and do some facilities. And then we have also like a really nice area. More than I ever wanted to do in today's episode. <laughs> Completely messed up. I'm so sorry, but I think it's fine. I mean, you guys benefit from it. So I, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not worried that you guys will be mad. In case you want to see how that is built. I Okay, I messed up. But any other kind of reason, you should be uh, still happy with uh, having the chance to see more being done at the end than uh, without it. So that's kind of cool. Okay, never mind. We're just going to connect the path over here as well. Just gonna make sure that uh, this is going to be um, only staff path. We're going to hide this a little bit by just bringing that down here. And now the la last bit needs to be staff path because I just don't want to have people go in there. God, could you please stop doing this, lovely gorillas? You're just like a little bit loud. Okay, so this is done. Cool bit is we can also put some cool plants down here to make this a bit more overgrown. But yeah, that's starting to look really great. Um, what's going on? Vet research is done. I am um, really happy about this. Yeah, just keep on researching the chimpanzees. The capuchin monkey though, I'm not sure if they are researched entirely already. We will see. But um, one thing we have to do first, we have to make sure that they have a nice work zone. We can actually create one work zone for keeper and shop people as well because that's I think that's easier to do. Okay, let's quickly go to staff, work zones, new work zone. It's gonna be this entire work zone, and we are going to call this Capuchin Monkey Area. So that's then for everyone. And we can basically employ a whole bunch of people. Okay. We are going to employ two caretakers that only work in this area. Um, let me just also pause the game quick. I don't want to do this too often. Then this guy, as well as two vendors, one and two, and those two in the in the shop as well. Okay, cool. That's that's great. Let them just all plop down to the ground. Awesome. Okay, so this guy is also going to work in the there you go, Capuchi Monkey area. There we go, Capuchin. Uh, I, I'm still, by the way, I still have no idea what the exact correct pronunciation is. I heard a lot of people say it's Capuchin monkeys, like the pronunciation leans toward the chin, like chin from peop, like person's chin, so Capuchin monkey. And then there are like a lot of, um, you know, official animal, you know, documentary kind of film movies or whatever. They always say capuchin, like capuchin, like very quickly said capuchin monkey, capuchin monkey, like almost like the coffee. Um, so I'm not really sure how exactly it's pronounced. So if there's anyone who can send me an audio sample or finds a video where they pronounce them in the correct way or if there even is a correct way, because sometimes they seem to be animals that, like, I don't know, have 20 different ways of pronouncing them and they all seem to be right or wrong, however, you know, which side you are standing at, I don't know, but, uh, so, I don't know. For me, it's kind of capuchin, monkey, capuchin, capuchin, kind of 
trying to capuchin. I don't know. Uh, capuchin. I, you know, I can s just say these like small climbing monkeys. I don't know. I think you guys know what I mean. Um, hello. And I, I'm quite aware of the fact that my mobile phone will kind of show me some images of capuchin monkeys later because they are always listening. And holy crap, you are fast. Okay, jump over. I. Why can I not click that? Go. There you go. Roseanne, Roseanne dot Roseanne dot is doing that stuff. Okay, so she's also going to go into the area here. Awesome. We can unpause the game. And that's all done. Now let's finish off the habitat real quick. Okay, so we have done basically everything we need, and now we can just already put everything in uh, that is needed to make sure that this looks good and nice. I just again using one of these uh, water pipe designs that you guys always provide because I just find this so much more appealing than everything else. Just gonna put this down here. Either way, I don't really need it though because they have water in, but you know, I'm just, I just really wanna make sure that this is uh, what they like and you know. So we're gonna put this on one of these things. I also used some of the in-game climbing rigs. I was too lazy to uh, build my own ones and because I thought I was recording, so would have, if I would have known I wasn't recording, <laughs> then it would have been potentially different, but yeah, whatever. So um, we can also put some other stuff up here, just to make sure that they go here, everywhere. I'm just going to make sure that, you know, there is so much stuff uh, they can use. Okay, so the keepers cannot get up there, so I definitely want to make sure that this thing is kind of here. Just making sure that the keeper is not having too many issues, and then, uh, yeah, sprinkler time as well going to make that one disappear or like actually just a bit more brownish if you will that should be fine brownish there you go the, the one thing though is I'm not really sure how it will work with the um, stress level for the animals because of the people so I did already put down as you can see a one side glass design here not sure if I need to raise this one even more even further but since you know the, the movement area is basically in here and then just a little bit to the back here um, I don't know, but I, I just wanted to make sure that we do have some more rocks and stuff in here now because clearly they have enough area to walk. So it's not like that there is too less area to walk on. So yeah, just going to make sure that this works. Um, it's going to give them more space to hide by just going, for example, they could just go be behind that area here, you know. So that is one area I'll give them as well to hide away in. I'll look at the lighting though. The light flying in. Oh, look at that. I love I love how the lighting now works together with this build. Also, hi, little keeper. How are you doing? <laughs> it's just like running through here and enjoying its time. I like it. Okay, just gonna make this all a bit more jungle-ish feeling-wise for the guest. Yeah, I just put another one here. I also make, need to make sure that this, you know, the keeper can still... Yeah, that should still work. Uh, I don't see too big of an issue here. Uh, making sure that there is also where's the where's the rope going there okay don't want to get this too high that should be all good okay let's see if we can find another climbing frame here that we could potentially use I still like this wooden tree house it's a bit too big but I still like it I um, I'm still a quite a big fan of that one I love this design um, but yeah there's just not you know just not what we exactly need I mean I could use this platform here easily this one is also nice. It's not too big though. I think I'm gonna just keep that one in the back here. And then I'm going to just go in here and then select this thing and just bring that over so that the animals potentially use this as well to just climb that road. Um, yeah, it should be fine. And now let's just use that one to copy this one over and make a connection between here and there. So that should be fine. I'm quite sure they can jump. I'm quite sure they will be able to jump to this thing or just connect. Maybe we're just going to just pull that one over ever slightly. And then that one too. That just goes down there. And then that's close enough. Maybe just pull that a tiny bit more. There you go. Okay, cool. Now, uh, what we can also do, we can go to nature and uh, does it actually work to put in the animal name? I would love to see that. No, it doesn't work. Okay, so uh, that would have been quite funny though, but no, it's it's okay. So we can go to um, tropical and just go to South America. There you go. And then this is obviously 
uh, all the foliage we can use. Now this is going to be a bit more tricky since uh, I need to make sure that this is not too much growing yeah, uh, through the top of this build. And we can do it that way. It still looks... No, we cannot because they will potentially be able to escape. I'm not sure if this forms uh, some kind of platform they could walk on. So definitely going to use this palm tree alone uh, because that's the smallest one we can use so far. Uh, the lowest one, I should say. Not the smallest one, but the lowest one. Uh, even though I think it is even the smallest one. I'm not like 100% sure, but it almost seems like. Uh, we can also use... Yeah, I'm just going to drag that even further down. I think it's fine. Just using it there. It's in the water anyway, so it looks a bit weird, doesn't it? It looks weird. I don't want to... I, I think I don't want to use it. Maybe a bit further to the side. Yeah, that, that's better. That's better. Not sticking out too much. Okay, gonna put some of these Amazon water lilies down here. I just, again, don't want to overdo it. Just want to make sure that this looks somewhat nice here where the people then can go through. I'm also not sure how the stress level of the animals will do. I'm, I'm fearing the worst and uh, I'm quite sure that potentially this leads to a bit of a struggle. Uh, people now go through here, which is interesting that they do already, but that's okay. Uh, you know, not that I mind, but um, I'm just wondering because there's yet no animal in, which will change in a few bits. Just going to put a lot of stuff down here, a bit of foliage, because they like foliage, which uh, I'm a big fan of. I would love more animals in the game that love foliage so much um, that we can just throw it in without even thinking about it. This is always great. Uh, we can always use also the K-Pok tree and just use that to oh my god okay i just wanted to make sure that the ground is a little bit more green but i forgot how gigantic those things are look at look at that is this like i just want to make sure that it peeks through a little yeah that's fine because it gives a lot of yeah look at that that looks good because it looks already quite a bit overgrown i like that I like that. Also, I like the fig tree, but again, I think this is not, you know, the, the cool thing about the fig tree is it's not climbable. So it can actually grow out of here. Why not? That's fine. They can they can always use this tree to be um, one of the show stars here that grows through and you, you just kind of pull the net above it. I think that's fine. We can always do that. Also use this one here and then the lower one in that corner, though. Let's pull that down and then I'm quite sure we can just use the other one to just go together. Look at that. Oh, it just works. Just nice into the corner. It looks a bit strange from over here, but it's fine. Just don't see too much of it. Yeah, I like it. And, you know, talking about this, we can, we can still use that one. This one is fairly low. Yeah, and I'm quite sure they cannot jump out of it. Okay, I think this is fine. This really, this really translates into what I wanted to do. I really hope that they don't uh, complain about too less foliage because then I'll have some issues. And then we just pull down these things uh, because they can also easily grow through. Are they climbable though? No, they're not. Okay, so that, that was the one issue. If they would have been climbable, I would have had an issue. But no, it's not, so that's fine. You can just stick them all in here and just make sure that this all looks a bit more overgrown. And then surely we'll give this area here also a bit more context a bit more trees here and there we can also have this Brazil Brazil nut tree that goes oh I'm just taking too much sunlight away so I'm just gonna put this one in the back here I just want to keep a little bit of sunlight you know to my to my wonderful build here from the people that provided it I still don't know who that was wait let's have a little glimpse that was provided by Ebo. So Ebo did provide this wonderful shop. Now I can you know I cannot use uh, use that here. I want to maintain sunlight. That is a lot better. Okay, I'm a, I'm a sucker for sunlight. Sorry, but it's just like so much more important to have sunlight here. Um, the palm tree can work here. Just well, why not? And then we can we can put this one here. If that's the shadow, I I don't mind too much, but that is about it. And then yeah, just some low gr lower ground shrubbery here, just like that. And then uh, we are nearly good to go with today's episode, which, again, feels super long, but I think it's not even that long. It's it's still way above, like, half an hour, I guess, but, um, you know, it's not in the normal 
one hour whatever region, which is insane. But yeah, so let's throw the animals in and have a look if everything works. If they cannot escape and stuff like that, you know, that should be fine. So animal trading. I'm quite sure that I got already some capuchin monkeys. Uh, 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 what? Oh yeah, there you go. See, that's what I that's what I was talking about. We do have some already. Um, so let's pu put it. Wait, no, no, no. I okay. One goes here. Okay, this is uh, fairly slow right now. So let's put the second one in as well. Boom, second one, and then let's go to the third one. Are they from? I think I got them for my for my old zoo, right? For Veronquieto. I think we never put them in. This is the reason why we have them in the uh, in the trading center. Because I was wondering. I think I never I never actually got them for this zoo over here. Uh, because I clearly was already oh crowd overcrowding going on with the jack. We're just gonna quickly check this. Uh, feeding station cannot be reached. Oh sure. Yeah. No. 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 That makes sense. Um, I'm gonna put this down here. Awesome. So let's go to... Wait, the jacks are still fighting already, right? So there you go. This is the jaguar. Awesome. And... Oh, look at you! Hello! Have you grown up, right? No, you are already pretty old. I thought that we had a baby, uh, a jaguar baby, a black one. Did, did, oh, my, oh my god, how many... How many black jacks... Like, how many panthers do we have? And why? And... I mean, that's awesome, but still, why? Uh, let's quickly have a look. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Are you the... Seven... Oh, my God. Oh, my fucking God. Uh, okay. So, send animal to the trade center. And you are going to make me, hopefully, some good money. Uh, I'm gonna put you into the animal market in a second. This is definitely sure. Oh my god, look at that. I would love to send this to one of my sandbox zoos, though. That would be awesome. So, I'm gonna say trade. And surely this is like... 3-5, I guess. There you go. Connect. I don't know if anyone is, is buying them, but yeah. So it's on the market now. If not, it's still in the trade center. We will eventually get this sold, so that should be fine. Okay, let's have a look if uh, they arrived already in their habitat. There you go. They did. They're so small. This is just way too big for them. But I was also planning to bring the uh, giant ant in here in the bird's tapia as well. So this is why it is a bit bigger. Um, let me just quickly check. How about that? Lovely. Why can you escape over here? That is fairly interesting. So how do you... How do you even get here? Okay, so maybe... This is exactly what I was fearing. Uh, and I have the feeling that it is exactly this palm tree over here. But it's fine. We're just going to delete this one. And then... If my calculation is correct, eh, they should not be able to escape anymore, right? Wait, still? Okay, so tell me how you get up there. Oh, wait a second. These things are climbable. But, 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 this is not too big of a, wait, oh my god, no. This is not too big of a deal. We just go in here and then we just put these wonderful row pieces in between because they are, I think, they cannot climb, uh, they cannot climb these things. Because they are finally stopping them from climbing. As far as I remember, so... Um, never mind. Just gonna be... Selecting these things. There you go. And we're just gonna do this all over here for these things. Just like so. I, I'm i quite confused why they didn't have the tag that they are climbable though. But, okay, but it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. So we have it here. Now let's put that to the back here. Woo! Oopsie, that was a little bit fast. And we're gonna just put these in between these. Because I, I remember that I um, I tried to build something with those ropes for the uh, gorillas and kind of they had hitboxes. They were just insane. Okay, let's have a look what happens now. Um, if I select you, 
And I'm gonna go here. There you go. That's what I was talking about. Okay, cool. See, this is this is fairly cool because now they... Okay, they cannot even climb these things anymore. Because... Okay, I, th I think because I just broke this. But that's fine. Holy heck. Why is that still... Okay, but that one, that one seems to work. I mean, I don't mind if they just climb there and they don't escape. That That's fine by me, but... Okay. This is interesting. This is fairly interesting. Okay, social group should be fixed in a bit. They do have two less soil and two less hard shelter. Hard shelter will be pretty easily done in a second. And, hard shell, uh, and, and the soil can also be done relatively quick. So we're just going to put some soil down here. There you go. Just a bit more. A bit more soil here, a bit more soil there. You know, just making sure that they have enough soil. Awesome, that is done. And just to make sure that these guys have enough shelter. I'm just going to go in here and then um, let's say shade. And we are going to put the shade below that one. That is fairly simple. That's the only thing I was thinking of doing the whole time already. Um, I, I was just a little bit fearing that this might look weird. But uh, um, yeah, no, I think if they need the shelter now, just going to put some of these here as if they were... You know, just used as a little shade. But I think this is exactly what they need to make sure that they have enough, uh, you know, shelter. That should be all good. I mean, now they have, they have like, huge shelter. That's totally fine. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. It even looks good. So that's, that's totally okay. And let's see. How about you now? Social group is getting better. They are doing good. They have hard shelter. The environment is fine. This is fine. This is all oh, fine. Good population. Well, it's your own job to to change that. So guys, come on, do it. But I will, you know, end this episode here, guys. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed today's episode, even though it was a bit unconventional, since <laughs> I did some work that I didn't meant to do. So. Ah, you know. Um, <laughs> God, it's, it's still so stupid that I just kept on, on playing and talking and I just didn't even record. Uh, never mind. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. And again, if you are enjoying this content and you haven't subscribed yet, uh, you may consider subscribing to the channel so you get all the news in the future. You don't even need to hit that bell, you know, if you guys are enjoy uh, in annoyed. What, what You know, I, I sometimes have this. I subscribe to channels and I don't want to see all this. I want to check this by myself. Um, I just do not activate the bell. That's totally fine if you don't want to do this, but please subscribe to the channel. That really helps the channel out and also make sure that my episodes do land in your feed. And if you're interested, you can just click it. So that said, I really hope you guys have a wonderful weekend ahead and I cannot wait to talk to you again in the next one. Until then, have a wonderful Friday, Saturday or just a wonderful weekend. Goodbye, everyone. Stay safe. Peace out. <laughs>